the importance of balancing subjects. So I've given this the importance of balancing subjects. It is very important for you to balance your subject for you to perform or to get the grade that you want as a student. Now, uh, I, give, I will give you a formula for KCSE students on how to calculate the points that you want. But if before we look at this formula, let us see if you get an A in any subject, it means you have already have to you have 12 points. If you get a A minus, you have 11 points like that up to E. If a student scores E, the number of points that the student has is 1. A student who has a C plus in any subject has already secured 7 points. If you get a A, you have 12 points. If you get a C plus, you have 7. If you B plane, you have 9 points. Nikona formula pa mboi nasema G is equal to 5x plus 2 into bracket x minus 1. Uh, Nime explain ya pa G ni nini. G is the overall grade. G stands for the overall grade. For example, if we want a C plus, that is the overall grade. A, overall grade. So G will stand for overall grade. 5 will stand for is the number of compulsory subject plus two sciences. The number of compulsory we have Kiswahili, English, and mathematics, and then add two sciences because every student takes two sciences compulsory. Kwa hivyo kiongeza compulsory tatu, that is Kiswahili, math, na English, unaongeza science bidi, sasa yu inasimamia hii five. And then we have X. X is the grade points per subject now for example this is what we call x these are the points if it is grade a it has 12 points so x stands for these values these values are grade come on b minus in eight so that is the x and the two these two in the formula there is these two here uh, let me underline that all and uh, these two here stands for the best performed between chemistry and biology the best two subjects two best performed so they pick one uh, or they pick uh, the, the two best performed between chemistry and biology and the physics they say if those for those who do three sciences they are going to pick two of them that are the best performed so that is why that is why we have these two so nataka sasa tuangalie how do you use this formula to check the grade or you want to to get so let us uh, for example grade c plus for any student who needs a grade c then you should know the number of points the overall number of points that you need in that one so to najukua hii formula grade c as you can see here equal na seven na seven stands for x in this formula so on a substitute na seven so seven and then 7 in this bracket, there is also 37 for that grade. So, kifanya hiyo tunapata jibu ni 47. Tunapata jibu ni 47. Kwa hivyo, ili upate grade C+, plus, lazima ukwe na 47 points. At least ni 47 points. So, inamanisha nini? This means that for students to get the least number of points for C+, plus, in KCSC, they need to have the minimum requirements as shown below. So, kuna minimum requirements, every student and a faculty. So, kubalance subject ni muhimu sana. So, nataka ni kuonyeshe, the every subject, the grade you need in every subject for you to get a C plus and above. Najwa kuna watu wawajui kubalance subject zao. Kwa hivyo, unapata maths E, ukona chemistry A. Ya hita kusaidia. Uh, if you think... The work done in this channel is worthy appreciation i thank you very much for those who school place so say god to bless me but on top you can buy me a soda of your choice a soda is about 50 shillings 100 whichever you have i thank you very much so let us continue to look at the requirements so for you to get a c plus and above 
there are things that are the, this is how you should balance your subject so this i have given the minimum requirements for kcse grade c plus and above for you who want to get a c plus because you there are students who need to get a c plus only they don't want much so there are, you need to score five c pluses you are doing seven subjects so in every in in out of the seven subjects you should score five of them you should get a c plus nasema ukitaka kupata c plus grade lazima upate c plus tano out of seven subjects ambazo unafanya get five c pluses and then it's two c plain there you are you are for seven points and you will have a c plus kwa hivyo make sure una balance the subject such that all the five subjects that you are doing have a c plus and then two which you think are difficult maybe in one way or the other you get a c c plain and there you are you will get a c plus for those students who want to score p minus you need to have five subjects that you will score p minus and then you will have another two subjects which you will score c plus in total you will have 54 points in total you will have 54 points so this formula i have substituted the value as you can see this, this g stands for the grade like this students want to get a c a p minus therefore p minus the value for p minus is 8 and this is the value for the points therefore you substitute in the formula and you get the number of uh, the, the total points is 54 kwa hiyo mwanafunzi ambaye anataka kupata B P plain lazima upate P plain in five subjects alafu upate B minus kwa subject mbili hapo utakuwa umepata 61 points na unaelekea university direct uh, for those students who want to score P plus you do the same you need five straight P plus in five subjects unahitaji B mbili two Bs from another two subject and then you will be there for those students who want to get a minus you need five a minuses in five subjects lazima score five subjects a minus alafu subject mbili score p plus for kwa wale ambao wanafanya eight subject they will take the best seven the best seven so ile ambayo imeacha isipokuwa kwa the compulsory kwa zile ambazo ni elective wanachagua the best the best from there from the eight uh, and that is uh, so for a student to get an a you will have to score five a's in five subjects and then score two a minus uh, and as you can see you will have 82 points and that's how you will get to do your course the one you want uh, so please it is important for you to balance the subject like i have shown you that make sure in every in the grade you want if you want a p minus you should score five p minuses in five subjects for you to get that grade now there are those students who maybe in one for one reason or the other want to score a c minus and below or a c plain and below So for you to get a, a E you only need to to get 5 E's and 2 D minus and there you are you have 5 points. For those who want to get a D minus or in case you are getting a D minus it means in 5 subjects you are getting a D minus and in 2 subjects you are getting an E. So you will have a total of 12 points. For those students who want to get a C plain then you must have five subjects in which you will score a uh, c plane and then you will uh, you, so c plane you will score you will have you need five subjects a c plane and two subjects in which you will score a c minus in total you will have 40 points and this one will take you to a colleges uh, as far as you want therefore as you can see it is very very Uh, important that you you make sure that you balance your subject 
that is the thing you need to do. So how do you balance? I have seen this is how you balance them. You make sure in every subject that you want to score, uh, you are fighting to get a B plus, then make sure five subjects you get a B plus. And that one will give you the grade you want. Now let us consider these two students. I have two students here. Student A uh, scores C, English C+, Swahili C+, Mathematics C+, Biology C+, Chemistry C+. Therefore, for the five subjects, five out of one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five. For the five, the student has seven points, that is 35 points. And then Physics, Geography, and uh, Business, the student A, student A has six points each. The total is 47 points, and what that is, this one is a C plus. There is another student you here who doesn't care about balancing this. So this student A is a very good student. Student A is a good student, so you need to be a good student like student A. Now let us look at this student B. This student B, I can call him or her, uh, a student who has refused to balance the subject. Uh, you can see English has, he or she has a D plus. And then um, Swahili C plus, Mathematics D plus, Biology D plus, Chemistry C minus, Physics a D plus, and then Geography has a A minus, Business Studies has uh, a plane. So you can see this a, a, a minus and A plane has been pulled back to a C minus, to a C plus of 47 points. So you can see these students, if, if these students balanced the, the, the subjects, at least score C pluses, these Ds should be easy result as in a C plus. You students and get a grading in Mzuri Sana. Why even if you balance subject, so student A, I may jari bukusana ku balance the subject, student B, I ju ku balance subject. Sasa swati ni umana funzi ana pata A a business. Kwanini as pate ata B blas kwa isab na chemistry. Kwanini as pate B blas kswaidi na English. Kwa ivo ni kuto balance the subject and that is what I'm calling you students to try as much as you can to balance your subjects. Uh, be focused and balance your subject grades. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate you people for your support. Please support where you can.